online with Haney van Vieren. Okay, hi guys. Um, welcome to the second video for our level two biology online. I'm just going to go a little bit deeper into um, photosynthesis, and this is just re-emphasizing the previous lesson you just watched. So this is the um, YouTube channel of the California Academy of Sciences, and they have a a video up called travel deep inside a leaf and basically goes deep into it but there's no um, narration so I don't claim copyright to this video or anything it belongs to them but um, there's no words to describe what's going on so I would like to add that for you guys okay so here we go We're traveling deep inside a leaf Here we are in the amazing redwood trees of North America with amazing technology developed by the California Academy of Sciences. We will be traveling where no other has ever gone before. Yeah, that's my David Attenborough. Not that great, is it? Anyways, so uh, you can see we're getting closer and closer to the underside of the leaf. This is important to know that it's the underside because you can see the stomata. Okay? Remember, stomata are like spiracles for these are closed and those are open, like spiracles of insects, so they, they can open and close. And these two over there, they are called the guard cells. Now first thing, we're into the leaf. So I want you to please go and review the cross section of the leaf. Because when you're coming from the underside, you come through the epidermis, you are going to enter the spongy mesothelium. So all these blobs that you see are actually cells, and within those cells, you will have chloroplast, mitochondria, and a nucleus, and also the large vacuole, okay? So, we are currently in the spongy mesothelium. You will see that there's lots of space in here, and that is to allow the oxygen to diffuse out, because it's a byproduct of photosynthesis, and the carbon dioxide to diffuse in, so that it can be used during photosynthesis, okay? So, look at all the spaces. We're still traveling in the spongy mesothelium, Sorry, that was a bad pronunciation. And we're traveling past, and you can see when you look closely, as we get closer and closer to the cell, you're going to start recognizing some organelles. Um, the first one that I want to mention to you, you can see that there's the nucleus over there. As we get closer, you will see that that is the endoplasmic reticulum. Right over here, this is the Golgi body, or the Golgi apparatus, and you can see all these vesicles, how it's sending out all the proteins and hormones and everything that it packaged and um, and made so that it can do its um, thing around the tree's body um, and be transported to where it's needed and again this is the endoplasmic reticulum surrounding or from our viewpoint obscuring the view towards the nucleus as we go closer you will see the ribosomes on the endoplasmic reticulum these purple guys you can see there's some lines following there forming there, those are the cristae of your mitochondria, and the green ones are the chloroplasts. So here we go, even deeper. You can see the ribosomes over there. There's another vesicle from the Golgi apparatus, and in between the endoplasmic reticulum. Now if you look carefully, you'll see like spider webs, and that is the cytosol, but you don't need to know this, but it's basically fibers that keeps the cells together. Over here, this bluish structure that is the nucleus and you can see a nuclear pore over there you can see the mitochondria you can see the line of a cristae how it's actually increasing that surface area and we're going to go closer and closer now to a um, to a chloroplast look at the color changes that's how the energy this is how I read the story of the animators and how they say this is how we could make it look as if there's energy being produced. And immediately when we come in, you can see the, remember, thick singly, it's called a thylakoid. We can see the grana, which is the multiple of granum. And if you look around, you will see the lamellae. And those are the connections between the grana. Let's see how nicely they are. Okay, so as we go closer and closer to a surface of a thylakoid, you can see what they tried to, to do here was to show you um, the chlorophyll and as the sun comes in the chlorophyll and this is only showing the light 
dependent um, reaction okay it's not showing the light independent reaction because remember that happens in the stroma and we're currently flying in the stroma but it will happen in the stroma close to the membranes um, of the inner membrane so here we are and you can see it's going to look like little birds but that's actually the ATP and the electrons being produced and that's going towards the light independent um, you can see if you look carefully you'll see there's three phosphates on there making them triphosphate okay and your chlorophyll and are helping to produce all these basically all the energy that is going to become glucose okay so um, all in all i think it's quite a nice video i'll put the link in there as well um, but yeah, I think it gave us a nice idea of what it really looks like, what it potentially looks like um, when you go deep into a blood cell. Alright, hope you enjoyed that. And um, if there's any questions, reach out to me on the social um, feed, or you can reach out to me in my notes as well. Okay, have a great day guys, keep safe, and remember don't get infected. If you do that, you will save lives.